Excuse me, Sham, can I just give you a quick pointer if you don't mind? So when Jesus says those who have seen me have seen the Father, he's actually saying then those who have seen me have seen the one true God, according to the verse that you're quoting. He doesn't say if you've seen me, you've seen God. He says you have seen the Father. So he's not claiming to be the Father, but if the Father is the only true God, he is clearly saying I am the only true God. So are you telling me the Father of the Palestinian Jews? No, I'm saying the Son did. No, but no, hold a minute. You said those who have seen me have seen the one true God. No problem. Not is me that, personally. Then of course, Jesus, that, does the father look like Palestinian Jew? No. So, how can you say, if you see me, you're talking, about the, not, yeah, yeah, you're, talking about, you're talking about the, of course, they cannot see the inward stuff, they see the outward. Yes. If you see me, you see the father, I don't mean he looks like the father. No. Or he has the same attribute of the father. The nature, yes. That is incorrect because Jesus said he does not know the hour, only the father knows. Yes, because even the father, when he speaks to the martyrs whose blood cries out to him from beneath the, the, the altar, they say, when is our blood to be avenged? And they're talking to God. And he doesn't say at such and such a time. The verse doesn't allude to a, a temporal time. He says when the convergence of these events has passed, then your blood will be avenged. Right, so, so the father is not saying 20 past seven on a Wednesday. He is saying That's when this happens, wait, he's saying when this happens and that happens and that happens, then it's going to happen. But that is incorrect. That is incorrect. That's right. not incorrect. I've got it on revelation. No, I'm saying that in, no, no. The analogy is wrong. Why? Do you know why? It's different Your between question the, is the logic of God. Okay. Yeah, no, no, not the logic of God. If you ask me what is my name, I said I don't know. Yes, you I'm might have lying. amnesia. I'm lying. At the moment, you yeah. would be lying, yeah. Of course, I'm going to be lying tomorrow if I don't. I say, I don't if you know. bump so your head, know. you might not no. know. No, no, I'm lying now. Okay. Yes. Or about my head. Yes. So I lost my memory. My, yes, my memory, yes. yes. But if I say to you, I know my name, but I will tell you my name next day. I'm not okay. lying. That's but right. Jesus said, no one knows yes. the day and the hour. Yes, exactly. So even the angel yeah. in the heaven, nor the sun. Yes. When he said he doesn't know the it. hour, was he lying or speaking the truth? No, he was speaking the truth. So therefore, he doesn't know the hour. What, in his incarnation um, as Jesus, he does not know the hour. Okay, Jesus as God, is he the Father? No. Okay. So no Trinitarian believes okay, that. Okay, no problem. So according to Jesus, who the only one knows the hour? The Father, the first That's person of the Godhead. Sure. I know, so did the Bible. So Jesus doesn't know. That's correct. That's the only word of worship. The one no, that's the incorrect. Yeah. Our word is not God. Yeah, that's it. Simple. It doesn't. Yeah, simple. No, I tell you, Matthew 14, 27. Jesus spoke in Aramaic. So the Aramaic, plain English Bible, in Matthew 14, 27, he says to Peter, Fear not, for I am the living God. That's a translation from his earthly language to my earthly language. And everyone goes on about Arabic. But the Aramaic, he says, Fear not, I am the living God. So if you want to call him a liar, that's fine. No, uh, firstly, no, I'm not calling the liar. He can't be a liar because no, no, the Quran no. says he's. Uh, no, 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 I'm asking you simply. I'm not yeah. calling him a liar. I'm, I'm, I'm telling you that when Jesus said, "That's not the hour," was he speaking truth? Was he lying? He was telling the truth. He cannot okay. lie. Who has more knowledge? Who has more knowledge? The, the father. father in that instance, yeah, because the Father is outside but of God, time. No, but God, no one has more knowledge than God. No, that's correct. So if Jesus is God, no one should have more knowledge. He than was him. made lesser than the angels, according to Hebrews. He was made. But he was, God. as in his earthly form, the eternal Son or the Word yeah. was made lesser than the angels, but not of the angels. He was also made greater than them. And and in Hebrews, that same book, God the Father says to God the Son, "Your throne, O God, will endure." He calls. Jesus Christ God, okay. the Father, and the Father knows everything Firstly, according to your okay. argument, and therefore we can safely well, yeah. assure, no that's my Bible, yeah, 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 yeah. and Which Bible is that? the Bible, all the versions of Hebrews you will find okay. the Father calling the Son God. Okay, so are you taking a literal as God? Of course. When, in, when in Psalms, God called the judges Sorry. of Israel gods, are they gods? No. So why are you taking because, a literal? Because the Father says, I'll read you wait, the verse. Wait, wait, wait. Jesus said to them, Your words will never wait, pass wait, away. I'm like, when, Jesus, when they pick up the stones, yeah. they tried to stone him. What did they say? Uh, he said, Why do you want to stone me? Because of yeah. which good work I've done. He said, yeah. No, because of your blasphemy. Yeah, because you're, you're calling to... yourself God. Okay, what did he say? Uh, is it not written in your law? You that, are called your gods. Yeah. So therefore, Jesus is refuting them. But that's gods right? with a small Allow g. But it's not God divine. Of Allow course. Me. Jesus clearly refuting them 
refuting their understanding which they misunderstood yes. him. That's okay? right. But you Christians, instead of following the understanding of but Jesus, Jesus clearly said, I am the living God. God because you're That's contradiction. That's contradiction. No, it's not. Does the living God knows everything all the time? Uh, no, clearly not. <laughs> so he can't be the living he God. He doesn't know the hour. Yeah. We just discussed so he can, he can be. He is. He doesn't lie. So, so God can be, is God unknowing all the time? Uh, Apparently not. Not in okay, his human incarnation. So he doesn't know the hour. Yeah, yeah, what else? Yeah, yeah. If you want to call him yeah. imperfect, you're so, going to be the one on judgment day, Shane. Yeah, I, I have no problem to call him Excellent. imperfect. Excellent. Your sins are going to be put onto a Jew or a Christian, of course. Anyone who has a sound mind, mind, he will say the God that doesn't have perfect knowledge, he's Has imperfect. anyone got a sound mind that I can just borrow? Has anyone got any logic yeah, anyway, or reason? Anyway. So my boy, look for that. No, me. apparently I, I, there's a I, I, condemnation. I yeah, of course, I'm going to jump out. Much. Thank yeah, you, Shamsi. Yeah, God bless you. you. <laughs> right, Shamsi, along with uh, Usman, is uh, the arbiter of what God can and cannot do. Okay. We know that uh, God is omnipotent and therefore can do anything, including making himself lesser than the angels. But to which of the angels has it been said? today um, I have forgotten you you are my son in whom I am well pleased and the verse I want to read it for Christians so remember do please Matthew 14 27 fear not I am the living God so he's literally said it twice because I am is also the name of God but now we're going to go to Hebrews eventually when Kay gets her shizzle together Hebrews do I hello darling right Hebrews um, that you are my son, I will be his father, little gods. Aha! Okay, so in Hebrews 1, verse 8. But about the son, he says, meaning the father, Your throne, O God, endures forever and ever, and justice is the scepter of your kingdom. You have loved righteousness and hated wickedness. Therefore, God, your God, has anointed you above your companions with the oil of joy. And in the beginning, O Lord, you laid the foundations of the earth. So therefore we know Jesus is creator, as in John as well. And the heavens are the work of your hands. They will perish, but you remain. They will wear out like a garment. You will roll them up like a robe. Um, like a garment, they will be changed, but you remain the same and your years will never end. So we're talking about eternality and we're also talking about being the creator. As we know in the Old Testament, Yahweh is ascribed with uh, authorship of the universe. We know that Jesus Christ is the author and finisher of, finisher of our faith. And you need not be concerned with the polemics of other religious groups who seek to diminish Jesus to the point of a mere prophet. Because Jesus Christ is Lord and he will, there will come a time when every knee will bow and every tongue will confess that. And I don't want you to have to bite your tongue off in anguish. I don't want your legs to break when you kneel. I want people to be able to come um, and be awestruck by the presence of God on Judgment Day, not in fear for their um, immortal souls. And with that, I'm going to say God bless you because uh, the park is closing soon due to bad COVID. And, uh, you know, and uh, we love you lots. And please do pray for us and pray for Paul especially. I love Paul. I love Paul. Go on, Paul. Um, are you, are you on? And, <laughs> and just pray for us and we'll carry on praying for you. Please do pray for um, Azerbaijan and for Armenia and for Syria and for Turkey. They, they surely need God's assistance uh, over there. God bless. Lots of love. Bye-bye. Praise the Lord.